all right guys welcome so i am devon gorm here if you guys are new please subscribe to the channel because we're growing this and we're just doing more and more bigger and better things all right so let's get into it so this video is gonna be about how to deal with long distance relationships now this is kind of one of like the hardest things that you have to deal with in a relationship i mean you know obviously well it's not that obvious uh, if you guys are newer to relationships but you know dealing with relationships is really hard because um it goes like you know trust issues and like you want to be with the person physically because you know the whole point of being in a relationship is like kind of being there with the person you know looking at them you know and kind of being with them so let's talk about how to deal with and should you even be in one <coughs> okay so it's like <clears throat> So it's, it's, it all depends on like the level of like how old you are and your financial stability. So say if you are um, in high school, right? And like your girlfriend moves away. Now that's gonna be really, really harder if like you're an adult, you kind of have enough money. So like you can like go fly out and see her like on a holiday or on the weekend. So if you're kind of like a kid, like that's gonna be really, really harder. And I do not suggest doing a long distance relationship if you guys are younger because um, you don't have control over like your finances and you might not be able to see her ever and it just like your life isn't stable because like it's you're, you're you're under your parents and they're getting the money so that whole thing is rough but um if you are an adult and you have like you know your own finances and stuff like i suggest you like save up and like whenever you get the chance to kind of like fly out there and like see her see her as often as you can now it might not be that often because you know everybody else will be working with all that stuff but um try to see her as much as you can and like notes i mean not old oh, notes um letters letters and like video messaging like do a lot of that a lot of that depending on what time zone they're in like find a good like equal point and like just skype as much as you can send letters as much as you can visit as much as you can just you know keep keep the keep the loving stuff as like to the highest point as you can and, just, and and don't forget that person because the the more distant you are with like messages and like you know if you don't send messages if you don't um send letters if you don't skype then it, it becomes way of a harder thing you know then the person may move on or you may move on and then you know that whatever you guys had just died because you, you guys didn't keep it solid and it also depends on if their move is permanent if they only just move out there for like a year or two just finish like like some schooling you know for like two years and then i suggest you know you you, you hold it out you know keeps keep sending the letters keep sending the pictures keep video chatting then you you better not bond like that um but if like it's like a permanent move for them um you might can still be friends with them but as far as like a relationship it's going to get harder because like they're there like permanently and you're over here for the most part permanently and you know you, you, you meet all kind of people and they're meeting all kind of people and it's kind of like well what is the point if i can't be with you like physically even though even though the relationship is not about being physical but it's like if you can't be with them physical it's like you see other people that you like click with out over here that's closer and like they're farther and like sometimes they don't answer your phone and like they're miles miles away it just becomes really hard now i'm not saying that you can't do it but like I, i've seen the film many many times um i even had a couple that kind of fell just because they were like all the way like in maryland and i'm all in like, california and just didn't really work but it was cool while it lasted <coughs> <clears throat> so yeah, man. Um, what else tip to have for you guys? Pretty much, yeah. I think that's it. It's just a short and sweet video of just you know, pretty much how to how to deal with it. Um, those types of relationships do hurt because it's like the distance. But I mean, if you guys can like survive the distance, it'll make the relationship way stronger. Like when you guys go together, you know, it makes that a solid bond that you guys could be separated for so many years or whatever, and they come back together and just be that strong. It makes that relationship way strong. Or another thing, if you guys like somehow kind of have like an open relationship, even. If you guys are far apart like you did a little thing over here she did a little thing over here and like when you guys come back together you guys either talk about it or don't don't talk about it that'll make you guys a relationship either solid too because you guys got the other temptations out the way and then you guys are back to being together and solid but that just depends on your relationship some people do like that other people don't like that at all there's like no that's cheating no not at all but it all depends on you and your situation um just fight through it let me know in the comments down below um if you guys have ha ever had a um <laughs> if you guys ever had a um long distance relationship and how did it go how long did it last when was the breaking point just let me know in the comments down below so other people can see it so other people can also be helped by you guys all right guys see you later yikes